Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be showing how to change the springs on your kangaroo jumps and also when should you change your springs, okay? So Jason, can you show us the front of the kangaroo jump to show when the springs need replacing? Okay, so if you see, there is a, I can't see it from Circle. Here. There is a circle on the green spring. So that's called your T-spring. So there's a circle there and there's also a circle on the black shell. When the yellow spring or green spring starts to cover the little circle on the black shell, you know that it's time to replace your springs. Also, you'll see some uh, kind of fraying on the edges. Can you see that? Can you zoom in? You'll start to see that um, breaking apart a little bit. So you know after about 60 to 70 hours of bouncing that your springs will need changing. All right, so how do we do this? What we're going to do first is place the kangaroo jump between your legs and we're going to push down on that black shell. Good, did you see that? And we pop it off, that's good, pop it off. Okay, so now we're going to pull up on that yellow spring. Jason makes this look really easy. Taking the old one off is not too bad because the spring is all stretched out. All right, now if you wanna show us the difference between a used kangaroo spring, T-spring, and a new. So you can see the length is different. So your used one will be much longer and worn out and stretched. Okay, so now we're going to replace that gray teespring. And again, you can use any color that you like. All right, so we're going to match circle to circle and triangle to triangle. Okay, so we're gonna place that on there. Now push down on the shell and pull up on your spring. And then it's on. Again, he makes this look really easy. Okay, so now we're placing the circle to circle, triangle to triangle shell in. Press down on the shell and pop right into your spring. Now another thing to show them is to put the two boots beside each other. So your kangaroo jumps rebounding boots. You're gonna see the difference in height and turn them sideways if you don't mind. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so your uh, new one is higher, fresher. Okay, so let's replace the other one. Again, we're going to place that kangaroo jump between your legs, press down on the shell, okay, we're going to pull up on that teespring, pop it off. If, uh, if you want to bring this closer to the camera, this gives you a bit of an idea of the fraying that you can see too on the... On the edges. On yeah. the edges. Yeah. And also you can see Jay's nose hairs when you zoom in like that. Just kidding. So we take the new spring, circle to circle, triangle to triangle. Good. I like to place the boot between my legs to pop the spring back on. Jay can do it without that. It's uh, I didn't do it with these boots, but it's also a good idea while you're doing this, just to make sure that your two uh, screws holding your shell onto the bottom of your boot are what? <laughs> also tight. You're good right. idea. <laughs> and you just use an easy Allen key to tighten those uh, bolts. If you've ever purchased anything at Ikea, you will have an Allen key around. So he pops that shell back on, and now your kangaroo jumps rebounding boots are good to go. In the next video, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about how to replace your shells. If you need any replacement parts, we have them here at the Babe Cave, from springs to shells to buckles, liners, we've got it all. Thanks, Jay.